this guy, like, mama. He is like really amazing. <laughs> Be like a talk show. Y'all ready for this? Two. <laughs> the fact that both of you guys <laughs> are, oh. have your legs crossed and you don't. And I'm like, you like get comfortable. I feel I'm super comfortable. I'm not joking. Who is comfortable sitting like this? Like I am so, a robot. Like, <laughs> I got the, how I start my videos and how Amy does. Okay. So I'm like, hey babes, and this is Amy. She's like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No, the best is when I go today. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous. How much out of ten? I'm nervous for you guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cannot. No cussing in my video. Oh, okay. I cuss. I'm sorry. I can't feel to myself. I'm not You're gonna beeping have, it. Put the beeping. Put the beeping. Oh my god. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try, but it ain't gonna happen. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna be doing a. Why are you looking at me weird? As <laughs> you guys can see, I'm here with my sissies. Can you guys guess who's the oldest? Bad bitches always look older. <laughs> Being number one. Now, well, I'm Bentley, for the love of God, please. Bentley's the please. youngest. Aries, just he contain has a yourself. Very long tongue. I am the oldest, Jessica is the middle child, and Amy is the baby. Okay, guys, you sent us a ton of questions, and I have them all here on my phone, and we're gonna answer them, so let's get started. It was Jesse Macedo. And underscore Jesse with would've... two eyes Macedo. What? <laughs> Definitely not. No? I think it's uh, two O's. Oh. Okay. You put it on the bottom. Oh, okay. Anyways, guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, it is at Stephanie Macedo, and also follow Amy, of course. A M Y M A C E D O. And don't forget to follow Bentley. No, I'm just joking. I'm not. I'm not. He has an Instagram, but nobody wants to manage. I am not. I'm not plugging him. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and also click that bell right next to the subscribe button to get notified for all of my brand new videos. And don't forget to subscribe to Amy's channel as well. Amy Macedo and Just does not have a channel. Comment down below for my Just does not have a channel. <laughs> Is your sister not Amy interested in starting her own YouTube channel? That is your so sister not Amy? I didn't really think about it because I don't know what my channel would even be about. I'm like all over the spectrum. I can't <laughs> choose. <laughs> if you're interested in something very random every other video, no, I don't. Like I mean, no. I'd be good at, at vlogging and just like random stuff and then like or movie, movie reviews. I movie hear that. reviews, animal videos. <laughs> Maybe. Jessica loves movies and animals, so I also think like animal tips and how to train them and stuff like that, or just advice. I know Amy lives with her boyfriend, but does your other sister live with you and your parents? No. Yeah. I have my own condo with my boyfriend as well. From all of you three, who is the most talkative? Love you guys, by the way. Thank you. Maybe Jessica first, and then you. But yeah. Both of you are. When I'm around talking. people that I know. Yeah. If it's new, I'm kind of like trying to well, all figure you out. But too. Yeah. I'm so shy and I always mm -hmm. tell them they probably won't believe that because mm -hmm. I'm so like bubbly on camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I don't know you, I am like, you won't even know I'm in the room. Yeah. Yeah. So Amy is a Cancer, as most of you probably already know. I'm a Pisces and so is Jess. Wow, they have a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amy always tells us that. And all of us are water signs, and we have two fire sign parents. <laughs> so it's a disaster. That happen? It, it is. is disastrous. Who is the most stubborn? We're all stubborn in our different ways, but you're the least. Dad would tell you different. I don't know. And mom would tell you different. different I'm more stubborn when it comes to me and my boyfriend. I'm like, it's it's my way. It's Were you all close growing up? No. We were no. not close growing <laughs> up. Say this and like make it sound rude or anything, but we, me and Amy were always interested in certain yeah. things and Jessica was not. Yeah. You, you guys, know? I think, were just more comfortable being at home and stuff as well. Yeah. And our personalities at times just didn't click and I yes. was always like, see you later. Yeah. I always wanted to be out going, doing things. I did the clubbing thing for a little bit too. Yes. You guys were just like not about Jessica that. was more about <laughs> going out to parties and taking more risks and yeah. being a little bit more adventurous, whereas me and Amy were like, no. Being super feminine and girly and Jessica was oh, more of a tomboy. Yeah, I, I was way opposite. Yeah. If you're not really relating, it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. But I will say now that we're older and now that they're like moved out, I don't know, it's just, it's totally different. I think when you're young, yeah. you're so immature and yes. your, your vision is so narrow. Like mm -hmm. you just think like, oh, She's we're not we're not interested in the same thing yeah. that I don't want to talk to that person. Like, yeah. You're yeah. like, the world is very complex and everybody's mm -hmm. different. So yeah. you're, you're just not as like, I guess you're more mature. Well, she's not as into clubbing and stuff like that. You know oh, what I mean? No, not anymore. So if you that. were, you probably be like, oh, I don't have time to go to home yeah. with you guys. Like mm -hmm. now we're so much more, like we can relate to each other more mm -hmm. now. I think you it know? also has something to do too with like, when you live with somebody you don't feel like you get along with, there's a lot of tension that constantly builds. Yeah, of course. Once yeah. you move out, you have that that separation yes. and kind of that like break so you attempt to reach out more to oh, like, yeah. what are you doing I no, feel like I true. feel like living separately is like <clears throat> key even with like <laughs> yeah we moved in together <laughs> again 
Um, <laughs> no, I agree. Like, even with like mom, like my relationship got way better with mom. Yeah, you left. said that. Yeah. Which of you started dieting first? So I guess losing weight first. Amy, right? Yeah, it was me first, and then a few months later, Steph. Yeah. But even growing up, though, you were the first. I always had my issues. <laughs> Who is most likely to skinny dip? Probably Jessica. That would be me. And then secondary sure. me if I have a drink. I was in gonna me. say if I have a drink in I me. Think even if we were on a private beach. No way anybody Steph can see. Wouldn't. Steph still wouldn't even do it. I still wouldn't. She'd be like, you guys don't deserve it. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Very paranoid and very prude. If someone said to me, there's nobody here gonna see you, I'd be like, there's someone, there's someone peeking. Yeah. There. <laughs> there with the camera over there. Yeah, remember? <laughs> okay, okay, there's that, you know that line? And I'm the type that, um, yes. has the bulletproof condom and still has to pull out. That is literally <laughs> the same. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Who is the most sensitive of the three? I love how I wait to your best answer. Not me. <laughs> I think Jess, Steph is the most sensitive. Jess, you have a sensitive. No, all of us. Then. All of us are sensitive. Jess, I, definitely not me. I'm Jess, you're sensitive. A I'm sensitive in my relationship. You're okay, sensitive she's in my tougher. Relationship. Like you could tell Jessica the truth about something. She yeah. literally doesn't. But anybody oh, else, like I don't feel sensitive. Definitely yeah. Steph the most, and then probably me second, and then Jess, like uh, maybe me and Jessica are similar. Yeah, we, we know. We know you're here. Oh yeah, you're totally cool. <laughs> yeah. He just looked at me with like his mouth open. Can you lay down on that? Oh. <laughs> this is not a question, but I love you and Amy's channel and can't wait to see this video. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite memory all together when you guys were younger? Wow. I... That's we hard just... to choose. Oh, well, we just talked about how we really didn't get along when we were younger. <laughs> We didn't get along much when we were younger, so what are we gonna say here? <laughs> That's the best way you can put it. Then he's like, it was definitely into vision. <laughs> we would all go to Niagara Falls together. I feel like that was fun. Yeah, that we were like young and yeah. fun. Oh my god, we'd be getting like so yeah. every other weekend in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, funny story. Speaking of Niagara Falls, first of all, our parents are obsessed with Niagara Falls. Because every other weekend, if Literally. it was good weather, you knew that mom would be like, girls, we're gonna go to Niagara Falls this weekend. <laughs> but here's the funniest part about this. Each and every one of us were conceived in Niagara Falls. Okay. I, she would tell the boom, 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 I'm going to Niagara Falls this weekend, but who would say to her, Eesh. here we go again. Oh <laughs> my god. Mom's advice is do not conceive on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did not wrap that up. Were any of you ever hesitant to share things with each other for any reason, like being judged? Oh, oh for yeah. sure. Oh my gosh, for sure. Especially <laughs> for the stuff that I did. <laughs> for me in particular, yeah. I... Yeah. I would say with my no. relationship, I don't like to be judged like in mm -hmm. the past. I wouldn't want to say something because I knew that I knew it wasn't okay, so I didn't want to kind of get judged for it. But I, I in general don't share things. Yes, he <laughs> does not share things, so there's nothing really to judge. There's nothing you know? to judge. Who is the most likely to get arrested? Definitely not me. <laughs> like, I honest, I think I would die if I got arrested. <laughs> I think I'd be the closest, but I wouldn't have enough nerve to do anything to actually get that. Yeah, far. I think neither of us, but probably Jessica and then me and then stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like you would be afraid. Yeah, first of all, I would never even be anywhere close to that situation. So. <laughs> Steph, like, no, so you want to know something? This is how far this is how far away Steph is from actually being arrested. She drives under yeah. the speed limit. You know, no, 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 no. That is a that is a lie. I look at it. Okay, if it's 50, she drives 45. If it's, no! No, she was on the highway driving 80. Steph. She is the, the spokesperson for like um a model, a model citizen. Yeah. <laughs> same driving kids, same sex. <laughs> so there's three parts to this question. Most creative, most analytical, and most grounded. Steph is the most creative. I'm the most grounded. Like like neutral. Yes, she is. Super neutral and grounded. Yeah, two Pisces. They're and grounded. we're all analytical. Yeah. Funniest childhood memory of the three of you. This is the funniest. Oh, is it the oh, funniest? funny the one where I chased you with the pea bottle. That's I mean, pretty funny. She got a little mad when we wouldn't let her play water guns, so she decided to step it up a notch. One thing I will say is I was a wild kid. Yeah, I literally peed in a cup and chased her and my cousin. A spray like, bottle. Who does that? My mother had to scrub the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bottle was my toy baby bottle. Oh my. Who has the most patience? Um, probably stuff. Yeah. Your reaction is... Ugh. Is that <laughs> stressed by the word patience? Like, yeah, I'm not 
patience. I only have that. patience when it comes to animals because you have to. Yeah. People, no. <laughs> Do you guys have a scar from when you were kids? How did you get them and where? Love ya. I have one on my ankle. I think it was a vacation in Punta Cana. Oh, this is a good one. They had a mini golf course, and I was playing with um, my cousin because I think our cousin was with us. And I, I was trying to cheat and like stand on the edge of the of the wood, and I slipped and I cut my get. ankle really good. That's what you got. I went to go and tell my mom, and she was trying to rush me to the room, you know, freaking out, trying to clean and give me a band-aid stuff. But then she got stopped because. One of the girls that work in the theater there, she loved her so much, she stops and starts talking to her. And oh I'm my just God, like, in the middle of your. I'm like, let me just be your to death. Bleeding to death. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I love you so much. You were so cool. Yeah. Thank Welcome you. to our childhood, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. Thanks for having a sad mother. <laughs> I have two of them. I have one on my knee. I fell at a cousin's pool when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I have one right over here over my eyebrow. From when I was a baby, I hit the corner of my grandma's super pointy dresser while my parents were away and they came back to your baby got stitched up by while you were away. I have absolutely zero. I think Killian makes you stronger sis. My hairy bends out. Can all three of you give us one fashion, makeup, and fitness tip? Oh. Jess, I want you to do this one. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Eyeliner only on the bottom lid. <laughs> fitness tip. Uh, watch your calories. Oh God. Watch your coke. Oh no, I like my coke. Oh God. Okay, my boyfriend's the worst for this. No pattern matching. It's yeah. pattern solid or opposite. Whatever is your oh flow, but God. you know what? No pattern. That was good. Less of each product is more. So overall, you can do a glam look, but like she if you, <laughs> but like if you pile on like a lot of foundation and then a lot of contour and then a lot of highlight, it just. It's just going to be extremely cakey. Fashion would be dress for your body type. Uh, that's something I've recently like learned over the past year because I feel like a lot of times we'll, like we'll look on social media and we're like, oh, I love that on her. I want to wear that. And you'll put it on it. It doesn't fit. Yeah. It doesn't look good. It's not for your shape. You'll end up feeling bad about yourself because you're like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. I can't wear that outfit. But you're just not wearing the right outfit for your body. Mm -hmm. Fitness is be mindful of your calories. If you know that you ate a lot one day, then the next like few days or a week or two, then you have to just like eat a little bit less to kind of balance everything out. The whole time you guys were saying your answers, I'm trying to think of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup. Me personally, I follow this where I just stick to the basics. I get a super light foundation, bronzer, little bit of mascara and get like a really good lip. You honestly don't need much. Keep mm -hmm. it very simple when it comes to makeup. Um, fashion, I would say the number one thing, I get a ton of questions about this, I would say find out your style and don't try to copy what everyone else is doing mm -hmm. or the trendy thing out there. Yeah, what you're comfortable with. Yeah, like for example, neon is in right now. I know where I can wear neon and I know where to stop. Like mm -hmm. you gotta know where to stop. Mm -hmm. It's just important to find what fits you best. For me, I look best in neutrals. You're not gonna see me in like some, no, royal blue. Royal like, blue. Oh, the deep, never. yeah. See me in that. Why? I don't no. care how trendy it is. You, so know your style and no. don't worry about Stop. copying what's hot out there. Um, and then when it comes to fitness, it's funny enough. I don't. It's hard for me to find this, but balance is so important. Mm -hmm. Don't push yourself to go to the gym five days a week. Do what you can because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it just matters that you're making the effort to do it. And you'll find that later on, you're gonna do it more and more and more because you at least found that balance in the beginning. So yeah. that's what I would say. Yeah. That's good advice. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> like, not to be rude, but I see this. I see this a lot of times when you go to the mall. Like, you ever see someone's dress and they have fifty trends on at the same oh, time? Yeah. It's so much. Yeah. Like, so it's you know like they just want to follow the trend. So they'll have a neon top with a Gucci belt. Then they'll also have a bodysuit on, <laughs> oh and they God. also like they pick all the trends yeah. and throw it on. It's like, but just, it's because society tells us if you're not trendy, so you're yeah. not beautiful. But it's funny because the accounts that I follow are not the people that are doing these trends. Yeah, you just they're the be ones yourself. where I'm like, damn, she knows natural. how to dress. Yeah. yeah, it's like natural within you. What you, what catches your eye and trust that. I've actually learned that too. God, I'm like honestly, I can't read today. Which <laughs> sister would start a family first? Amy, hundred <laughs> percent. She's got baby fever. <laughs> I've had baby fever for like a year now. So funny because a couple years ago, wouldn't you say it'd be me? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's your. I think like, you're on most, the brink. You mostly so want it, it, but like, yeah. who's gonna be the first? Is probably Amy. But you know what, Jess? Um, she doesn't want it. I, I don't. Anymore. I don't want it as much anymore. No. 
Yes. I want it really bad. I feel like I'm ready to maybe like deal with the kid and have one, but I don't want to back in the day through... you said no. I, I know. Back in the days no, like... but I still, I still do not want to go through the physical part of yeah, it. Yeah, she always Like I don't that. want it bad enough to do that. Yeah. If you want to just hand me a three-year-old, I'll take it. Mm. Yeah. It's so interesting. Like life just, it just, wow. It changes. It just yeah. really changes you. Like it's not my priority right now. Three years ago, yeah. that was my... You know, that was my vision. Your work path. wasn't even first. It was have a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you were like on the brink of it. You were engaged, yeah. you you know, so you were thinking about that. But that's why guys don't get blinded by just because Never like, rush. yeah, like don't get blinded by where you are currently. Like, for example, I was in a relationship, so I thought that that was the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. That was the next thing a woman is supposed next to step. do. Yeah. That's a huge decision. And now looking back, I'm like, God, that would have been such a bad mistake. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's always late? Mm -hmm. Who was late this morning? Exactly. A bitch is never late. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep repeating that if you don't get on time. She's supposed Show to be here at 9.30 and she end. messaged us and you messaged us at 9.30. So you were on your way. On like, my way and so bad <laughs> on my way. The thing is with me, if it's if it's important, I will I will definitely be there on <laughs> time. Because yeah. we're Next not important. No, because it's not like an it's not like an appointment. You know what I mean? Like we're not in a rush. Like we have I know we have a few hours, so it's like I don't really need to rush. But like if it's an appointment or like if someone says to me you have to be here at this time because if not then we're gonna be late for this, then I will definitely She will. Like that she But will. if it's like like if I know we have hours to film, <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I ain't doing it. I get stressed if I'm late. Like if I know me too. But I already told myself in my head I'm not going at if night. If my GPS even <laughs> tells me I'm running two minutes late to like an appointment, so I call them like, hey, it might be two minutes late. Is that cool? No, I like, get stressed as I well. Go. When you guys told me to be here at nine, I already told myself in my head I'm not doing that. Yeah. Y'all better answer this correctly. All right. And you so, better not even hesitate. We already know the answer. Oh, never hesitate. Amy, <laughs> if I have to put 30 bleeps in this video, I'm gonna bleep your butt. Yes, I said butt. But really, Steph? I'm sorry. Come on I'm sorry, in. Uh, safety Steph. Sister safety, like, stop it. <laughs> Safe Stephanie. Drop. You the wrong <laughs> Which sister has the best sense of fashion? Definitely not me. I think naturally Steph. Oh, she's oh, she's always naturally like had a thing for fashion. That's I right. think naturally makeup me like I don't even have to overthink makeup. That's right. Fashion I overthunk it. If that's what she's, your answer. she's natural. I <laughs> think the answer that it's me. I'm more like forced. I think I have sense. basic knowledge. Like yeah. I said, the pattern thing drives me nuts when people do that. But like yeah. we, have, we all have our own. You don't care. You don't care about it. That's why yeah, I mean, you don't dress like com like a complete I don't crazy care. person though. Yeah, like you're you dress like you have a good sense of it. Mm-hmm. Which sister is the best cook? I'm oh, always love... begging this bitch to make <laughs> Christmas dinner because sometimes mom be drying stuff out. Oh, no, I love mom. Like, am I the only one that yeah. loves mom's cooking? Yes, because you like, yeah, I like dry. dry food. That's why me and mom love like dry food. I'm always begging the staff to cook. She still hasn't even come over to my place. She might do stir fry. Okay, I'm gonna cook at your and house. And I'm related to her. Okay, <laughs> related. I think Steph naturally cooks, uh, oh, like yeah. cooks better. Yeah, she Thank has it more. You don't even need to. I agree like, with her. I I feel like I'm a good cook, but I like to follow rules. I like, like that too. Yeah. Steph's just like, no, throw out the book. Let's do this little bit yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah I can. I'm like a natural it. chef, whereas I'll just follow. I can cook good. Like my yeah. food will be good, but you need to follow the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> my babes know what I say. Cook from the heart. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, I cook from a recipe. <laughs> Which sister knows how to speak Portuguese? Steph. I know like enough to survive. I don't I don't know enough to hold up a full conversation. I can always understand it more yeah. than I can speak it. Yeah. Oh my god. But you definitely know would it be more. if I did a video where we had to speak all day Portuguese with each other, that'd be freaking hilarious. Yeah, right. I, I just get, get shy. I get shy to speak Portuguese. A lot of times I know. I don't get shy or scared, but like like just being like Jessica, say chicken. You know? Because we're not none of us are like super fluent, no. Oh, this one's funny. Who would borrow whose clothes the most and never give them back? I, I added that for ways. Borrow Steph's clothes because growing up, I, I was so that. insecure about like my fashion, and Steph had everything. I would go in her closet. Literally, anytime we would go to like a family party, <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, like standing back. That's yeah. what for you. Yeah. Me. I was like, when she goes in your closet, you're never gonna see that shirt. Back. No. I would go to her room and be like, I am your muse. Yeah. Dress me. <laughs> she would dress me and I would never give this stuff back. 
You know this day I, I don't give shit back. You. Oh, I remember yes. taking I like, like, see if I can like your boot heels you. or like wedges yes. when I went clubbing and stuff. Oh yeah. One day I came and home she and I saw, yeah, I don't like, like, I, it's so funny. I'm so black and white. I don't like when you use something and don't tell me that i will grab it back and i'll be like don't ever do that again yes, and yes, now yes. you lost your privileges yeah you would literally <laughs> lose it oh, Dude, lose even it. with your foreman grill i'd be like can i can yeah, i use it? it you're like yeah but just make sure you clean it after i'm like okay i forgot once oh, <laughs> honey, once. Honey, yeah honey, i will you know, say steph has zero tolerance zero like, remorse zero, zero remorse. remorse like uh, you will you will mess up like no. the tiniest bit yeah, and to so. her it's like you committed oh, yeah. the ultimate crime <laughs> it's my scorpio okay guys it's my scorpio oh, yeah. so yeah if you do that it's like you're out mm -hmm. but if you like ask me and i'm like you know she needs it i will give it to you and i don't care if that was my favorite shirt you can have it what do you love most about your sisters so just pick one thing because guys we have a ton of questions <laughs> what i love most about jessica is jessica does not like to talk bad about anybody even I would be like, yeah, but she did this and she did that. <laughs> and Jessica's like, mm, but she hasn't done that to me, so. Yeah. Well, I'm like, and Jessica's Jess, not. I, she give, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt first. Yes, Until you does. do it to me and I'm like, oh, that's true, eh? All right. But she's <laughs> not a, you're not a gossiper. No, no it, she's it's not. Still, okay, you know, know how, you know how they say like, oh, if someone tells you they don't gossip, they're lying? No, she literally, she's not she a gossiper. Gossip. I'm like, no. But you're like the one percent. You're like the one percent in the entire world. Cause let's be real, everybody gossips. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody me does. and Steph gossip all the time yeah. to each other, and Jessica's just like, I don't care. Like, She'll I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear what bad things people have done, what yeah, they're doing. The she fuck. either does two things. She does this like, yeah, she goes. Her. <laughs> you can tell she's uncomfortable. Gossiping <laughs> makes her uncomfortable. You give the benefit of the doubt, and you don't like to like talk bad about anybody, and she's just like, she likes to think good about the whole entire world. What I love about Steph is she literally knows everything about any random thing you can ask. I asked her, she's the Steph, plug. do you happen to know where the best place to buy mattresses is? She gave me like three different places. She gave me a very detailed just, answer. Yeah, she knows everything about anything. It's so I love random. knowing everything about yeah, any, like everything. It's I so do. Random. I just do love that. It's so funny. Steph knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you never would borrow any of our things because you would yeah, have it on you your You already own. had it. Yeah. <laughs> I would say my favorite thing about Jessica is that she literally has zero shame. Like, she doesn't care what yes. anybody thinks about her. She is just 100% like herself. My favorite thing about you, easy to talk to. Like, if you mm. need, if you're going through something and you need support with I always thought you thought I wasn't. Like understanding. I no, say, I always thought you thought I wasn't. No, you are. Like, it's so you're, funny. I would never think that you'd think Well, because you're very sensitive. So you're yeah, really very so sensitive to other people's It's kind of hard. Yeah. Like, you're, like, you're not insensitive. Yeah. That's that's what my favorite thing. You're not You at least take every part of the story. Right. Like, if you're her, like, I, I'm being yeah, you're, you. She's literally she'll not cry insensitive. with you. Yeah. If, no, honestly, if you're her and I love you, I'm her too. Like, yeah. I genuinely am. Yeah. My thing that I love about you, honestly, Amy, that I wish I had is she has this, like, ability to have balance like i just don't know how because i'm so emotional and you just like yeah you're so you don't emotional. care about Things. a lot you're just like that's not important to like cry over <laughs> like you cares. have no idea yeah. how much i wish i had that i care mm -hmm. way too much and yes it's a good thing to care but it's not yeah. a good thing sometimes to care too freaking much yeah there's pros and cons to that you know and amy has the ability to be like Yes, this is sad, but this is what you gotta do about it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have that. You, just you know what I mean? I feel like my heart's being ripped out where she's able to be like, this is logical. So, yeah. you know, I love that she has the logical side and also can be emotional too at the same time. And the fact that you're able to be both is something I've never, I can only do sometimes. Yeah. And I, yeah. That's why I go to her for a lot of things. Like, please make this logical because right now it's only emotions for me right yeah. now. Yeah. That's what sucks. I think I've always been like that. Like, I, always. I, I like to say I'm very neutral. Yes. Yeah. Like, like I'm never, I'm never hate or love or emotional or extreme logical. I'm very like grounded and in the middle. Mm -hmm. Or if I, I can't pick sides between something. So if you ask me like, who do you think is in the wrong here? I will always say, well, you know, I kind of see both sides. Like yeah. I'm always in the middle with love. Yeah. Whereas I'm always more to, You're the, to the other side. Yeah. 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 Who was the first one to have a boyfriend and bring home a guy? No, I brought I think... home a guy first. I did. Uh huh? I don't know. I don't know. Because me and Amy actually got our boyfriends actually around well, the same time. Well, I know. Time. She, she did, did but I didn't bring them home for a while. Oh, I... 
Technically, I win because I, I know my it. boyfriend since we were like 10 years old. We yeah, which is start. so cute. Yeah, but I think it's a date because I think I had a boyfriend no, before. No, I think I had a boyfriend Well, you know what? Maybe it overlapped. You and I think so. Thing. I but know. I think I had a boyfriend first, but to bring him home, it might have been Jessica. I think so. It might have been. It was been easy because time. he grew up with us, so it was just easier to do. It didn't seem like a big yeah. thing. Yeah, I her boyfriend is a childhood boyfriend. Like, yeah, man. So funny. Like, talk about, like, love story. Oh, by the way, Leo and Pisces. Did and right. Virgo and Cancer. And what? Pisces in question mark. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, Leo works for Pisces. If you're a Pisces out there, look for that Leo. It's look so for Leo though, because look they're a fire Leo. sign, but I will say Leo is the only one, only fire sign I could ever connect to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. fire sign. And yeah. the only one that can tolerate us. Yes, yeah. sometimes. Oh my god, the other fire signs are like crazy sometimes. now. Sometimes, sometimes they'll have like random either. thoughts of the day and be like, whoa, how are you still here? I don't <laughs> It can get pretty serious. It's so true. I got a Leo. There's not that many people that can handle Pisces. Don't yes, God, really no. aren't. You have to be special. Oh. Most embarrassing moment. I was gonna tell him the fart in the box. Yes. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do I don't it. care about do anything. Okay, guys. Next question. Most embarrassing moment. You should, you should moment. leave that part in. Guys, okay. this is so embarrassing. Honestly, I'm not even gonna. I don't know. I don't think I want to tell this story. I think I me and Jessica do don't get do embarrassed it. by very much. No. I, I just care. think that this is like I can't believe we're telling you guys right. this. The rare moment that we did get so long, right? We're all hanging out. <laughs> we were um, young when we, we were did. younger. We See, were I was young. right. Yeah, before right. before like, like, teen. Yeah, that's yeah we, did. we were small. Like yeah. six to ten ish. I think we were really high off energy that day. <laughs> we didn't know what to do with ourselves. Um, I don't remember whose idea it was, probably mine. Uh, to grab a pencil case and drop our farts in it. <laughs> um, oh, it my gets God. a little worse. We, I mean, we didn't really think it would work. I think maybe we saw it off the TV or something. Guys, I don't know where we got that idea. Yeah, from. I think TV. I don't know. Why would we obsess with But farts? can I just yeah. ask, who farted in the pencil case? Was it me or Jessica? Because I know the both of us. I know it wasn't them. I'm sure. You know what killed so, me? You know what killed me? I remember what the pencil box looked like. It was it one was, of our, yes, no, it was the one. Yeah. It was emerald green on the top. Yeah. I don't know what it was. No, no, emerald green. green. No, I think you might be right. You guys both kneeling down with your ass is in the box, and this is me just <laughs> opening it. Oh my god! god. Okay, okay, Steph is what you call a ride or die. Oh, yeah. Like, she uh, won't want to do something that she's strapped like, All right, hold on, guys. Yeah. Almost like yeah. shut the pencil box on your ass. Like, honestly, I was yeah. like, I was like, get it in there. It was so crude, but I had to do it the proper way. You had to do it the right way. Well, if we're gonna do this, let me make sure I'm yeah. really trapped in there. So, I mean, it gets a little worse. So, um, we took the pencil case to our father and, um, asked him to open it because it was stuck and he, uh, yeah, he was very, very mad. He was, he was so it, pissed. It works. Pissed, like livid. Well, and my dad does, that angry. No, my dad doesn't oh really God. get mad. Like, you have to, especially when we were younger, you yeah. have to really get him mad. And he was very, he, I think he felt disrespected. Like, oh, imagine yeah. these three giddy girls and we're, we all know that there's a fart locked in this box, right? <laughs> so we're all like, open the bar. Yeah. 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 And then he opens it and he's like, what? <laughs> and we're like, there's a fart in there. <laughs> wow, yeah. you look so yeah, handsome. Look like on me too. Yeah. You look so handsome, mama. My sister would make you upset, laugh, cry. This is more likely to make me laugh. Because <laughs> she's wild. We oh. just are similar in that way where we're just like weird. <laughs> likely to make me bless you. <laughs> bless your soul. Bless your heart. Bless your soul, Jesus, Mary. <laughs> Belly so concerned. Belly saying bless you. Um, more likely to make me cry. Oh, we don't make you yeah, cry. Yeah, no. <laughs> a hoe never cries. No. You know what's funny? I don't cry when other people cry, but if I'm watching a commercial or a TV show and someone's crying, I cry. Oh, yeah. oh. anyways, make me upset. Like, I don't know. We don't really, like, I don't know. I like think, okay, but I think most yeah. likely it'd be me over Jessica. But, like, you don't really make me upset. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sucks. Me, you upset. <laughs> Definitely Amy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, make you upset. Who's more likely to make you laugh? <laughs> no, yeah, I think just like singing. I like singing. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. make me laugh too. Like but yeah, I think Jessica. Yeah. And then cry. Amy would probably make me cry. But then if I'm having deep talks with Jessica, Jessica makes the emotion come out of me. I don't get it. Honestly, care. guys, everyone makes me cry. <laughs> I think for me, Amy makes me laugh because she's so honest about the dumbest things. <laughs> and who would make you cry? Probably you. Oh, it's like an emotion. You guys like, will be connected. No, 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 no
sometimes the silliest like, things might just like. Oh, I hate when you dumb. guys get deep in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Amy hates people getting deep. She really doesn't like it. <laughs> Who's the most annoying sister? There's always that one that gets on your nerves. Probably me. When we were younger, you. Mm -hmm. But now, I don't really... I get annoyed very easily. <laughs> yeah, well, you get annoyed with everything. <laughs> I think it's bad. Right? We'll be texting stuff just be like, enough of these hoes. I, seriously, I always joke about having 5,000 pet beefs, but I, I'm not joking, guys. It, if you guys think I'm joking, I'm not. No, I'm not sit. joking. Okay? I think I found one, uh, a new one the other day, and I was like, oh, that's another pet peeve of mine. <laughs> Which sister is likely to learn a new language? I think Steph. it's me. Steph. I don't think they have the interest. No. No. Who is the most high maintenance? Hashtag GTA babes. Oh, Love your videos. Steph. Steph. Well, y'all don't hesitate now. <laughs> I used to think Amy, just yeah. because how she's with her makeup and stuff. I when you see her on her normal days, I'm like, are you the same person? <laughs> yeah. It's it's 100% This yes. is what you call low maintenance and low maintenance. Oh, this is what yeah. you call high people, maintenance. That's one thing people always assume about me because I like makeup and hair and fashion. And yes. I'm girly. They when always you assume. Yeah. That, you do assume that. But I yeah. think where the cutoff is for you is you're really good and you know how to dress up when you're going places. And what is going on? But Steph yeah. is like Steph's got to be on all the time. Yeah. I mean, for God's sake, this this girl does her like videos on the road in a fur coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I mean that should oh, say. But even <laughs> but even in general too, like when we first were moving into my house, oh my god, I remember everything's empty. This is the first day we moved in. Like we didn't have any furniture, nothing. Okay. We ordered food, and this is her. <sighs> it's it's too bad. We don't have like a table or something. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, are you kidding me? We just moved in. Oh, we don't have chair. I'm like, like, like a chair or something. I sat on the floor. Like she's more like, like in that way, you know. Yeah. Fine. She has to be taken care of. You know yeah. what? I'm not <laughs> even gonna. Me, me and Jessica. Leo. Me and Jessica are more <laughs> ratchet. Oh yeah. But, like she'd be the first one to do a hike with me and get muddy and stuff. Oh, We'd yeah. be like, I'll just wait in the car. Yeah. I'll be like, guys, can I bring my perfume? Which I do. I bring my perfume on hikes. <laughs> yes, and the bugs attract her. This is her. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why they just they just left me. <laughs> We're literally in Bruce Peninsula, Peninsula in the middle and there's snakes around, there's trying there's spiders. Perfume anybody? I just wanna say I'm mad I wasn't included in that trip. I'm <laughs> being <laughs> honest with you, I wish you took my place. Oh. Wish you did. I will be it was crazy. Who is the most responsible and who is the most outgoing? Um, me and Steph are very similar in the responsible boat, mm -hmm. but maybe Steph like slightly more, but like we're both extremely responsible. You I just think I'm just gonna say that I I think just the least responsible. I'm, I'm only I'm very responsible when it comes to like serious stuff like bills and things like that. I'm on I'm like, hey, what needs to be set aside no. for this for that? But when it comes yeah. to normal decisions, I'm really not. No, yeah. And then just is more outgoing. Like you could literally message me and be like, you want to go for a three-hour drive to this hike? Sure. She'll go. One day, I'll be down. one day I was really craving cheesecake, and it was at 8 p.m. at night. Oh yeah. And cheesecake, the, I wanted the cheesecake factory, and um, the cheesecake factory you have to go to Yorkdale, and it was why eight. they're getting one at Square One. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And and it was like <laughs> uh, it was like uh, 8 p.m. So the drive to Yorkdale was like a good hour and a half. And I'm like, there's no way they're gonna be down. Oh, yeah. I messaged Justin, I'm like, I really want Cheesecake Factory, let's go. She's like, yeah, okay, cool. I'll be ready in like 10 minutes though. So it's always down. I was in the middle of making dinner too. And I'm like, yeah, I'll drop this food for that cake. Yeah, I'm always down. And you know what's funny about me? I'm never down. I will say, that's down. what annoys me about you. Yeah. Amy's like, I cannot pick up my phone and be like, Oh, I feel like going here. Let me message Amy. Don't no, even try it. I am never I down have Steph's her. Yeah, Steph's easier for that kind of stuff too. She's usually <laughs> down for like certain No, but don't, trips. don't but even Amy, like, don't even consider it. it. No. You know why? Because I'm not spontaneous. No. Well, I sleep for at least nine to 10 hours. No, seriously, I do. Someone's getting their sleep. <laughs> that's basically it. You guys have anything to say? Do you guys- Oh, there's no more questions? No, that's it. Wow, how long have we been here? Really long. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and leave some love down below in the comments if you guys want to see more of these videos. And with please, family. for God's sake, somebody give this man attention. <laughs> Somebody oh, give him attention. But the truth is, we have been giving him attention the whole Ooh, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Enough. Like, my hand is soaked with his saliva. I love I actually, oh I Ugh. took him off of probation. I told him that he's on probation. Oh, is he? Until further notice, he but needs, I took him off of probation. He needs to be on probation. <laughs> Hashtag free Bentley. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. She's safe.
me for the love of God. <laughs> I worked at Target, one of the managers looked at me and she's like, you know what, Amy? For such a pretty face and a pretty girl, you have a very vulgar mouth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. Guys, pretty girls don't swear. Well, I am proving What are you now. calling me? Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's basically it for all of our questions. Thank you guys so much for sending them in. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and Amy's channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video. You guys didn't want to join on that end. Yeah, we're just like, he just like kills me with her. Bye. And this is me, I'm like, I'm just going to remain silent. Oh, do you guys want to do like a bio together? What, like, I think you should like, just, like a family I think you talk should just show, keep like, this in and show that this is how much we're struggling. I'm filming with Amy, this is me. I'm like, let's do it together. Yeah, she tries <laughs> to take control and make my video all like cute and professional. And I'm just like, no, we don't oh do that God, on this channel. On this channel, we are chill.